When guests come here, they stand up there on the veranda and they gaze upon this tree. And when you speak with them, they're like, my God, this is such a beautiful place. The Moana Banyan tree was planted in 1904, three years after the Moana Surfrider Hotel was built. It was seven feet tall and seven years old. Today, at 117 years old, it stands over 75 feet tall and its canopy is over 150 feet wide. Up until 1979, um, it was so full that, that um, you know, sometimes you couldn't see through the tree and, and, and look out into the ocean. Through the last century, the Moana Banyan has provided shade for countless guests. Among them, celebrities such as Amelia Earhart, Ernest Hemingway, Frank Sinatra, and Lucille Ball, to name a few. And for many, it's been a place to relax and unwind. I actually came here in 1971, and I remember seeing this tree then, and uh, was fascinated by it. And uh, so I brought my daughter back. In 1979, the Moana Banyan tree became one of the first trees added to the city's exceptional tree list. And in 2001, it was declared a millennium tree by the America the Beautiful Fund. But caretakers discovered ailments with the tree that could be traced back to 1989 when major renovations were completed. Heavy construction work produced unforeseen consequences that affected the tree's health. The heavy machinery on the roots always is stressful for the trees. In 2007, the Moana Surfrider staff met with Sherry Barstow, who is a Nature Spirit channel and the author of the book, Elementally Speaking. She claims to be able to communicate with nature spirits, including the Moana Banyan tree. And so we were really interested because, um, number one, it's not often that you get to speak to a tree, and, and number two, what she was saying actually made sense scientifically and arboristically. And what the tree said, uh, most importantly, that her roots, which once touched the vibrations of the humans and the people that uh, surrounded her, um, were no longer felt so in other words something was physically covering her the, her her roots the information sherry provided and what was already suspected by the moana landscaping staff was confirmed in 2011 when excavations uncovered dead roots under three feet of soil she's a teenager right now so right now she's in the prime of her life and we want her to to take us through the next centuries. It's so peaceful and so nice. I think that uh, one day maybe we'll come back and you'll bring your daughter. <laughs> so although the tree's health has improved greatly over the last few years, plans are ongoing to ensure that the Moana Banyan is healthy for generations to come. This is Andy Lamb from Mid-Pacific Institute for Hikino.